Next question, a piece of aluminum, specific heat 0.9 at 99 degrees Celsius is put into 45 grams of water at 20 degrees Celsius. We're gonna find the final temperature of the metal. This is a heat loss, heat gain type problem. My approach to this is I organize what I'm given by aluminum and water. For each one, I'm interested in the mass, the specific heat, the starting temperature, the final temperature, and the change in temperature. <clears throat> so let's take a look at which numbers apply to aluminum. 25 gram piece of aluminum. So its mass is 25, its specific heat is 0.9, starting temperature is 99 degrees Celsius, and we're looking for the final temperature. For the water, I have its mass, its starting temperature. Forty grams of water, starting temperature of twenty degrees, and I'm looking for its final temperature also. Because the thing to remember is the assumption that we make in these problems, which is a valid assumption, is that they reach the same final temperature. It's not given to you in the problem statement, but it's at the top of your paper, the specific heat of water. And I know it's in the liquid phase here because it's at 20 degrees Celsius. Also, it's hard to drop aluminum in into ice. If we look at our starting temperature and our final temperature, I'm sorry, our two starting temperatures, we know that our final temperature has to be somewhere in between them. Then when I set up my temperature change terms, I need to set it up as bigger minus smaller, where this is the temperature change of the aluminum, and this is the temperature change of the water, bigger minus smaller. Always bigger minus smaller, and that's gonna make all the difference in getting the right answer to these problems. So now I'm ready to substitute in. I'm gonna have the mass, the specific heat, and the change of temperature of aluminum equals the mass, the specific heat, and the change in temperature of the water. 25 grams of aluminum, specific heat 0.9, change in temperature 99 minus X. 40 grams of water, specific heat 4.18, change in temperature X minus 20. I'm first gonna multiply these guys together. 25 times 0.9, gives me 22.5 times the quantity 99 minus X. 40 times 4.18, 167.2 times the quantity X minus 20. Now I'm gonna distribute each side. So 22.5 times 99, And then on the right hand side, one sixty seven point two times twenty three three four four. Now I need to collect like terms. I'm going to add thirty three forty four to each side, and I'm going to add twenty two point five x to each side. One sixty seven point two plus twenty two point five gives me one eighty nine point seven X. Now I'm going to divide both sides by one eighty nine point seven. and I get X to be 29.4. This is my final temperature because I defined X as my final temperature, so I don't need to do anything with that answer. But I do check to see that makes sense. 
is indeed between 99 and 20 degrees. And there's more water and it has a higher specific heat. So my final temperature will be closer to the original temperature of water than the original temperature of aluminum.